just when I thought I had caught up on all the Atari news, this comes across my inbox this morning. Atari is acquiring Night Dive Studios, a well-known retro remaster house. And what a great time to be an Atari fan, right? I'll tell you all about it in 10. Stick around. This video brought to you in part by Tommy in the Order of Cosmic Champions. This exciting and heartwarming coming-of-age Gen X novel is available now. Check the link for more info. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I am John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you for the click. And if you did click, it's likely because you saw that thumbnail and went, Atari's buying more stuff? Like we just heard they're buying Stern stuff. And you're like, oh, well that must've been their big acquisition. No, no. So a couple of articles I'm gonna reference here. One is from GameSpot which is referencing a Google Finance article and a tweet there. And the other is from the Video Games Chronicle. And I wanna start with the headline from the Video Games Chronicle that says, Atari is acquiring retro remaster specialist, Night Dive Studios. So already it sounds like a pretty good fit. So if you don't know who Night Dive Studios, like I clearly know very, very well from my research over the last 30 minutes, cause I'd never heard of them before, probably like you. Uh, so I headed over to Night Dive Studios starting to look around. So if you go to their Twitter, the thing that's going to jump out at you most likely is going to be their mission statement, which is Night Dive Studios' mission is to bring lost and forgotten gaming treasures back from the depths. That sounds a lot like Atari's mission statement lately too, right? Again, pretty good fit. Uh, so then I you know, jump over and you start exploring their, uh, their website, and you'll see that what they've been doing most recently is they've been taking old classics and bringing them to new platforms like, you know, the PC and uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, I mean, you see things like System Shock and Doom 64, Turok, Shadow Man, Seventh Guest, all this kind of stuff on their site that you can go and buy now on these other platforms. And they have this engine called the Kex engine that I'll talk about in just a second that allows this to all happen. In that GameSpot article, there's one, one sentence here that I want to highlight. With the acquisition, Atari will gain control of Night Dive's full library of games that we just looked at, as well as access to its proprietary Kex engine, which is used to make retro games playable on newer machines. Atari also plans to use Night Dive's publishing capabilities to support its own retro-focused growth strategy, which we're clearly seeing with the recent news, right? So on the topic of that Kex engine, I phoned an expert friend who's a software developer and said, what does this thing really do? Is it like a wrapper that lets you take old games and put them on new platforms? And apparently not, it's deeper than that. So first and foremost, this is a development tool that allows you to take an older game and like harvest all of the assets and all of the logic and everything, but effectively create a new piece of software that totally replicates all that stuff, but into it, you can then inject things like like social aspects, like achievements and trophies, uh, multiplayer, you know, things that are online that you normally wouldn't have had in an older game, you know, like an old Atari game, right? And right away I'm thinking, okay, thank you for player online warlords, you know, the stuff like that that just jumps out at me that Atari could use this technology for. Uh, there's a quote from the Atari CEO in the, uh, the Video Games Chronicle article that I also think is very probative, uh, where the CEO says, Night Dive's proven expertise and successful track record in commercializing retro IP is well aligned with Atari's strategy, and I'm confident their combined talent, technology, and IP portfolio will contribute to Atari's future success. Yeah, so these things just keep coming. Like, it, it, long are gone are the days that Atari is a shell of its former self, and it's just who publishes Roller Coaster Tycoon anymore. I mean, I, I didn't make that up. So I saw that in a comment somebody said, you know, they hated those days like I did. You know, and it's gone through so many hands, but but the current owners, like they're serious about making money and they found a way to make money by keeping our 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 favorite nostalgic IPs alive, bringing in other IPs Look, they gain more games from Stern now. And now they have this company that has a proven record of of taking old games and bring them in and infusing them. It's exactly what Atari wants and needs, it sounds like. And plus, in case you missed it. Uh, this Night Dive studio is currently working on a remake, a remaster of System Shock, which was the, the progenitor of Bioshock and all these great first person adventure, you know, magic powers in your hands games. And I guess that's now going to be an Atari title. I Wow. 
so so much cool Atari news happening, uh, and so and, and I would ask you, your know, viewer, uh, just like I said the last few times, if you are an expert in some of these arenas, if you know some at Night Dive or you've used the Kex engine, which I understand people are starting to use it as a greenfield area to like build new games in, not just resurrect old games. So again right up Atari's current alley with their strategy. Uh, chime in in the comments and let me know if you can shed more light on what this could mean for the future of Atari. I mean, the obvious ones surface level are exciting enough, but as I continue to follow this, I'll let you know if you know more exciting things come out of it because it it's, it's just such a cool time. Cool time to have been an Atari fan when it first came out in the 70s and now to see it come back to it's not gone. It's not, you know, it, it's it's going nowhere and it's growing. What a cool thing. Dude, hey, thanks for stopping by. I'll throw some links on my shoulders to some other new news articles we have recently covered. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this quick news update, and I can't wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.